sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come. We must never stop the way. Yeah. Hey viewers, welcome back to the channel. My name is Osetale. If you are seeing my video for the very first time, you are especially welcome to this channel. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. So today's video is a requested video. Like a lot of you guys have been asking me to make video on how to take measurements for corset and bustier. And considering the fact that my future tutorials that I'm going to be sharing with you guys now are going to be based more on corset and bustier i felt like it's something that's necessary to actually first share with you guys how to take measurement as you can see i have a dummy right beside me and this is the dummy i'm going to be using to illustrate on how to take measurement for your bustier and corset so if that sounds like something you're interested in please keep on watching this video and let's go straight to the tutorial <music> welcome back guys as you can see i have a line here at the waist area of my dummy yeah i use a blue cutting bias to actually line it because it's a very very important part of um, um, the measurements we are going to be taking so you're going to understand why i did this in the process of this video so just calm down so this is our waistline and uh, before we start i would advise you guys to actually get a paper to write down the measurements like the part of the body that we are going to be taking measurements for okay so don't worry i'm going to show it on the screen before we start so let me just go ahead to name them so we are going to have the chest line you have the bust point you have the under bust you have the waistline for the front and the back so that's why I have the cutting bias here because the waistline for the front and the back is not the same thing. So we are going to be measuring it separately. Then we have the length, okay? So the length means, um, you know, if you are sewing a gown, you take from the shoulder to the waistline. But if you want to sew a top that is not a crop top, like a top that is up to your waist area here, okay so you are going to measure down like to a point like here or here so that's why we have length okay then you have the bust pan the bust pan is our nipple to nipple measurement from one nipple to the other then you're going to have the front width okay the front width you have the back width you have the shoulder you have the round bust measurement you have the round under bust measurement you have the round waist and you have the round lower waist measurement so these are the measurements you guys are supposed to write down so that you'll be able to understand what i'm doing in this video so guys this is it guys now that we have written the part of the body we are going to be taking measurements for so i'm just going to go ahead to you know start taking the measurement because there's no time to waste so the first thing you're going to do is to take your chest line measurements okay and you're going to start taking your measurement from this point not here not here but from this point okay so you're going to place your tape here right here and you measure to the chest line so a situation whereby you are sewing a, um, an off shoulder bust jam and the pussy you know the shoulder is not going to have a sleeve or something like off shoulder something that starts from here you know something like that so you are going to get the chest line so to get the chest line when you are taking measurements on your client you are going to ask the client where the person wants you know the off shoulder how off the person wants the off shoulder to be so some people like it to be really really off to show their cleavage but some other people just want it to cover up their chest area to an extent so you're going to take that chest line measurement let's say for example my client wants the um the bustier or the corset whichever one to cover the boobs to an extent so i'm probably going to take maybe like six inches as the chest line okay do you see you're going to take like either six inches or five inches depending on how your client wants it so you're going to take your chest line like so okay then you're going to take it 
all the way to the boss point which is the next um one on the list okay i'm going to take it to the chest sorry to the boss point so your chest line is around six inches or 5.5 you know and your boss point is 10 inches so you're going to take it down okay so for example so guys let me just pin this down so that it's going to move okay so i've secured my tape so this is our chest line and this is our boss point okay so that's why you're going to take that then still maintaining your tape here at the shoulder line without moving it you're going to go down to the under bust measurement let's say our client under bust measurement is 13 inches okay so you're going to go ahead and mark 13 inches okay write down 13 inches then you're going to take it all the way to the waistline okay all the way to the waistline and the waistline on this dummy is 16.5 inches okay so you're going to write it down 16.5 inches and if for example you are not sewing a crop top you are sewing a top that's up to the waist area like the lower waist area you're just going to extend your tape to like here okay like maybe 23 or thereabouts maybe uh, your client wants it to be at 23 inches so your tape is going your measurement is going to stop like here okay so mind you while you are taking your measurement here you are still going to take note of this waist measurement okay so you are going to write down the waist measurement to be 16.5 and the lower waist measurement to be 23 inches okay so that's that for that so now that we have gotten the front um measurements now okay now the back length measurement so you're going to turn my dummy now to the back sorry guys okay so i'm going to turn my dummy now to the back and i'm going to put my tape here as well this place will not here yet so you are going to measure down to the waistline of the back so the waistline of the back that i have is 15.25 inches okay let's say approximately 15 and a half inches something like that so the difference between our front half length and our back half length now is about one inch so it actually ranges from one to two inches it can be one inch it can be 1.5 it can be two inches depending on the client that you are taking measurements for now that we have done that guys, the next measurement you are going to take now is the bust span measurement so our bust pan is the um, length from one nipple to the other nipple, okay? So that's what is called the bust pan. So you are going to place your tape on one, on one nipple like this and you measure to the other nipple. So on this dummy, our bust pan measurement is approximately 7 inches, okay? So that's what this dummy is saying. That the bust pan measurement of this dummy is seven inches so you're going to go ahead and write down seven inches as your bust pan measurement so if you are taking it on your client it's the same method so just just uh, place your tape on the fullest part of the boobs just like this you're going to place it on one boob like this and you measure to the other boob so my measurement actually is seven inches so this is a size eight dummy and i'm also a size eight person so it is actually the same thing for me and this dummy so my bus pan is actually seven as well so that's how you are going to take it for the bus pan measurement so after taking the bus pan measurement the next measurement you want to take is the front width and the back width okay and as well the shoulder so let's first of all take the shoulder measurement okay so to take your shoulder measurement guys you see this point and this point so let me move it closer for you guys to see you see this point and this point so this is where your shoulder is okay so to take your shoulder measurement you're going to place your tape at one end like this and you measure to the other end okay you measure to the other end so the shoulder measurement of this dummy is 15 inches okay so i have 15 inches here so you are going to mark down your 15 inches okay 
So after taking that shader measurement, now you're going to take the front width. The distance between somewhere here, you know, that your chest line, around your chest line area. So that's where you're going to measure your, your front width. And it's going to be the distance from here across your chest to the other side of your armhole. So you're just going to do something like this. Place your tape here like this. Then you measure across to this other side, okay? So what I have here is approximately 12.5 inches, okay? So that is what I have as my front width measurement. So the front width measurement is actually still different from the back width because our front and back is not the same. So for the back width, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to place your tape here and measure across to this point, okay? So for our back width now, it is 40.5 inches and our front width was 12.5 inches. So there's two inches difference between the front and the back width, okay? 12.5, then the back is 14.5, okay? So that's that for that. Now, the next measurement I'm going to take now is the round body measurement. So, but before I go straight to taking the round body measurement, there was something I didn't remember to add. Please write it down on your own. So, I later remembered in the course of this video and I wrote it among the list of the things. But initially, when I was sharing with you guys, it wasn't there, which is the armhole length. The armhole length is the length from here, okay, to where your arm starts from, okay. So this dummy will not really give me the accurate armhole length. There's another way of getting this measurement. It is by dividing your bust measurement into four. Let's say, for example, my round bust measurement is, you know, 34 inches. 34 divided by two, I have 17 inches. Then 17 inches divided by two, again, I have 8.5 thereabouts. So the length of your armhole is going to be around 8.5 okay so that's it for that after you are done getting that guys the next now is the round body measurement so you want to get your round bust measurement so you are going to place your tape on the fullest part of your bust like this and you are going to measure your round bust measurement so this dummy the round bust measurement is um 35 inches okay so you are going to take it down 35 inches. So after you have gotten the round bust measurement, you are going to get the round waist measurement, okay? So you're going to place your tape on the waistline like this, okay? Then you're going to measure it round. And for this dummy, it is 27 inches, okay? So, you know, I told you your top can either be a half length for a blouse, a half length for a gown, a crop top or a top that will get to your waist area so for example if it's a top that is going to get to your waist area you are also supposed to take your lower round waist measurement so you're just going to place your tape on the lower round waist like this and you measure it so for this dummy i have like um about 36 inches there about so that's that for that so after you're done doing that that's basically all you should need to actually be able to draft out a perfect corset or a bustier okay so this is it guys this is how to take accurate measurement for your corset and bustier let me know what you guys think about this video in the comment section and let me know if there is any part of the video that wasn't clear i will try as much as possible to throw more light so guys in our next video i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft a corset a basic corset pattern this is a video i made before but i want to make it again for the sake of a lot of you guys that didn't understand it the first time so guys that is it that is it for today's video thank you so so much guys for watching i'll see you all in my next video bye bye